All right, what we have here, we have an original Xbox soft modded to boot up to Coin Ops 7 Massive. The Massive is the one with 4,100 games. Um, I have it set to boot straight up to Coin Ops. You can also go to a regular dashboard. It's a fully soft modded Xbox. There's no mod chip, but it's soft modded. Coin Ops basically incorporates, like, I think somewhere between 20 and 30 emulators. There's, um, like, 10 to 15 different arcade systems and 10 to 15 different uh, home, arca uh, home video game systems. Um, so it's literally got arcade, Amiga. I'm really not even going to list them all now, but let's see if I can find... I mean, there's Atari, Atari XL, Classic, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, uh, Sega Master System, Mega CD, Sega Genesis, uh, Genesis 32X, MSX, regular NES, Nintendo 64, some older PC games, PC Engine CD, PlayStation 1, Spectrum, Super Nintendo, of course, and X68K, and then it's got a whole ton of arcade stand-up boxes like you put quarters in at the arcade <clears throat> too many that it's not even my area of expertise but there's so many games that you can actually sort between um, arcade you can sort but you can sort by the name so this is alphabetically by name split by arcade I'm not sure if you can see it or not my fingers barely there but at the top it tells you what it's sorted by so this is sorted by uh, arcade, or you can just have them alphabetical all in one group. Um, you can also sort by type. So then you can just jump between, you can always split between whether it's arcade or home split, or they're all in one, so you can just hit it again. But you can sort by type of game, so you can just jump right to the action games. Now, some of these are pretty old. There's a ton of games, there's over 4,000 games on here. So just action games, 3D action games, side scroller games, like you can jump to the type of games. Like for example, if you wanted just a beat em up game, you can jump to the beat em up games. If you wanted to jump to the driving games, you can jump straight to the driving games. You can jump to the um, Puzzle paddle games. RPGs. Shooting games. Shooting side scrollers, if you like these kind of games, you, you can just jump right to them rather than having to know the name of the game. And there's a lot. Um, or if you want the top-down shooters that are pretty much the same except for the top-down. Sports games, you can jump right to sports games. Or you can sort by the maker. So you can go straight to the uh, regular NES games. And the beauty of this is it... Um, they're all sortable however you want to sort them. And then they have the the video of the gameplay right there. So if you've never heard of it before, you can at least get an idea of what it is. And then it's as simple as hitting the white button, either unfavorites it or favorites the game. And then if you hit the black button, you can jump between all the games you favorited. And you hit black again, you go back to all games. So you can just go through with your buddies and pick whatever games you would, you would want to have so that it's more, somewhat of a more manageable list. Like you could say I want to go through all the Mario games or all the, the Contras or whatever and you can actually favorite the ones you want or if you, you can always go back and forth. And then you can still flip through sorting them through, um, you can sort them just the same way. You can't see right now necessarily on the video but you can actually sort them by kind while you're on your favorites. 
and then there's actually a whole mess of settings in here. There's actually two themes. That's the cabinet theme. And then the other theme is more of a full screen theme that doesn't have the cabinet. And it just has the video in the back largely and then the list right on top of the video. Okay, and then it's actually got a whole grip of settings. Like you can even go to uh, favorites, all time classic and hot games added. You can tell it to automatically add the classics or automatically add the classics and the hot games that they predetermined. It'll add those into your favorites. So when you go to your favorites now, there's that many more in there that were pre-chosen by you know the makers of coin ops. And then of course you can actually go back and turn that feature off and then you end up with just your standard favorites, which I still have a decent amount, but it's not as many. And then you can also go in and you can tell it, let's see, colors, let's see if it has it on here. Like for example, you can turn off the music. Music if no video. So now you can actually like hear the sound of the game without the uh, techno music on top that they have. And you can have it automatically filter the games uh, to completely get the list down. Let's see, where's the other setting? So you can color the classic and hot games too, so that if you don't know what you're really looking at, some of these games that are bl light blue and dark blue, they're actually like kind of hit games over the years, so it, it might give you an idea that a game might be worth taking a look at. Some games have sexual information you can pull up, like the information about Pac-Man. It legitimately has like the information that was probably written somewhere near the machine. It keeps track of how many times you've played. Um, you can, of course, jump. I have it set up to jump back to the Evolution X dashboard in case you, because you're gonna have a, it's gonna be a soft modded Xbox, so you'd want to be able to get back there. Just as you know, the fact that it's a soft modded Xbox, you can even just tell it to do a random game. And then if you actually let this sit here, I don't know if I'm gonna do it because it might take a while. I might do that at the end. It'll actually do a screensaver of random games. So it's kind of a neat feature. If you want to load up a game here, I'll show you the gameplay is pretty le legit. I, I actually have an HD TV, and um, I learned about HD TV lag. So, a little heads up for anyone out there. Um, this TV, you know, it's 1080p native, so it actually there's a like a half a second delay of rendering the stuff to the screen. So I had to go into my TV settings and put it on game mode. Otherwise, you might want to see if you have a way to output. Uh, actually, I don't think there is a way to output regular Xbox. So if you have an HD TV, you'd want to make sure that you have a game mode. Otherwise, there's that delay uh, when you're trying to play, and it makes it where you're there's like a half second to a second delay between jumping, and it makes the game unplayable. But luckily, I got that fixed.
go behind white just for boost. Just for ego. Something. Because you really don't need the white until the third world to get the warp whistle. And then if you hit, um, hold L and R, and then do start and select, it'll just reboot you. Actually, I think it's just start and select reboots you to the list. Um, L and R start and select actually reboots your Xbox. But I actually have it set up to uh, boot straight to coin ops. So it's basically an arcade 4,000 game system. It goes right back to where you were in the list. Again, you have black, switches between your favorites. Um, like I said, it boots straight up to coin ops, saves your games. Somewhere in there, uh, there's a feature to save state as well. So you can like lock your game wherever you are, even if the game doesn't have a save feature. Seventy gigs of old arcade games. There's even a few PlayStation games on there. I think there's even like Halo 1 and 2 on there. Uh, there's ways you can actually add more games if you actually would think you would need more games. Uh, just an outrageous number of games. So yeah, CoinOp 7 Massive, over 70 gigabytes of games on a original soft modded Xbox, um, fully soft modded, 4,000 games, really sleek interface, really a great feat of evolution, uh, emulation magic, for real. Really impressive for emulation. <laughs> 